Terry Atkins. I'm Vice President of Manufacturing at U.S. Music. Uh, I'm here to show you the shop and how we do things. Once we cut the blanks to size, we bring it in here. It's a temperature and humidity controlled environment. This is a body sand area. And now we'll take any of the machine tool marks out and get this completely, perfectly sanded on the Tolex and loading the speakers and loading the electronics into the amplifiers. More workstations. Oh. Awesome. Then we'll go join the neck of the body and then they'll bring it back here. After they come in and they go through these processes, uh, they equalize out in the wood room and now that they've been in there for a certain length of time, we'll start bringing them out. And by the time they get to the back end of the line, they're ready to be boxed and shipped. That all the scratches are completely buffed free. And then move down to the final inspection station. Where they're given one last look over, one last little polish up, and then they go into the box. There's just this work ethic that still exists here. If you ask me where do I want to be in five years, here doing the same thing. It's more of it. That's the main entrance right here. Another stairwell. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is huge. That's some, it looks like music cubbies, but I'm not too sure. Yeah. 
every single sound is amplified. Might be where they built them, or assembled them. the offices. Mailboxes. Some meeting rooms in here. as I said it, I found it. So this was the sound booth, it looks like. Wow, this place is cool. There's some sound panels on the wall, degrading away. There are trucks out there, so we gotta be really quiet. More workstations? Oh man. Check that out, guys. Someone from Kiss. Oh, there's some more stuff. They're right outside that wall. This is pretty cool. Check that out. I wonder where that sleeves to the other side. I wonder what it was used for. Oh wow. Echo. Some sound panels. Some glass. I would guess that's where the storage for all the stuff was. Yeah. More storage. Oh, that's nice. Damn. Look at that. Boiler. Big piece of machinery. I think they might have TVs up there or something. Oh, 
Okay, this piece is absolutely massive. where they offloaded the guitars and the instruments. Tons of batteries in China. In Japan, I don't know. Ooh. Let's see what's at the end here. There's stuff hung up on the bulletin board here. That's wild. I really want to find a piece of the guitar, but I don't know. That's not what happened. Definitely the biggest place I've ever explored. Building, I should say. There's a photo of the front of the place. Guys, check this out. It's a soundboard. Oh, God, the thing is, man, I, I'm gonna be honest, this thing is as tall as me, six feet long. Wow. Man. Back into the darkness. Need more sound boots? Or just offices? Just offices. Ooh. Here's a more well-preserved office. There's a lot of files in here. Is that the thing we... Uh, is that air? Oh, air conditioner. This is where the finishes for not sure what. Maybe a strap or something. Tire strap. Wow, it's just left it all here. That's crazy. This was a meeting spot. This for meetings. I still have stuff written on the board. These things are coming straight out of the wall. Oh, that's sketchy. <laughs> Got any Hannah Montana fans out there? This looks like product fact sheets. I don't know if this was a product that was already created. Ah, oh. SRP 149.99. I wonder if that was just a prototype or if they actually ended up making that March 15th, 2007. Let's see if these are photos or... Ah, yep. Photos of the old uh, speakers. 